What's up everybody? Today I'll be taking a step away from crypto and talking about how I earn income using my beautiful car. You might have heard that purchasing a car is one of the worst investments you can make because cars depreciate in value. Well, it's not necessary to purchase a car that costs you $700 a month when you can find a great steal for $200 or so dollars per month. After all, getting from point A to B is what matters most. But today I'm going to tell you how you can turn your money sucking car into a revenue producing asset. And you don't need a fancy schmancy car for this and many people on Twitter often assume that I have a very luxurious car which is why I'm able to produce extra income with Turo, but the truth is my Honda Civic is a thing of beauty. In this video, I'll be covering how Turo works, how much I've made from Turo so far, and my general thoughts on this business. Before we get down to business, for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Summer and I'd like to welcome you to Fire Hustle, where it's my mission to tell you everything you need to know about crypto, passive income, and side hustles in the shortest amount of time possible. If you want to help this video reach a wider audience, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you can take advantage of all the work I've done. It really helps the channel and I would also really appreciate it. And remember, none of what I talk about is financial advice. My videos are meant as a tool to learn about how to make income, whether or not it's related to crypto. Now let's talk about Turo. Turo is the world's largest car sharing marketplace that operates across 7,500 cities in the US, Canada, and UK. If you're a user of the app, you can book a car of your choice wherever you are and at your convenience as long as there are people hosting in that specific area. And there's 1300 plus makes and models to choose from. Whether you're looking to go on a road trip, you've just landed in a new city, or you need a temporary replacement for your car while it's at the shop, there's an option for everyone. Turo is a great alternative to booking rental cars from businesses such as Thrifty, Enterprise, Hertz, and more. But how exactly can you use Turo to make money? Well, you can think of Turo as the Airbnb for car rentals. The average car owner can simply create a profile on Turo, take pictures of their car, write out a description with all of the car's features and list it for people to rent. When you list your car, you can either set your own daily price or Turo can adjust the price for you automatically so that you can get more bookings, thus maximizing your earnings. So if you're someone who doesn't drive much or you have a secondary car, then you can consider putting your car up on Turo. I've personally even rented cars from hosts that have full fleets of 20 plus cars cars and operate a full business. Now a question that I get pretty often is what happens if someone damages your car? Well this is also one of the biggest reasons that stops people from posting the car on Turo. Now you can either think of your car as your precious baby that no one is allowed to touch or you can earn big bucks every month. The choice is yours but personally I strictly think of my car as an asset that can produce additional income. If there's any damage it can always be repaired. Now it's easier to put your car on Turo knowing that they do have you covered. In Canada they've partnered up with Economical or ICBC in British Columbia to offer a standard protection plan that covers up to two million dollars in liability insurance. And in the US they've partnered with Liberty Mutual. You can opt into the Turo protection plan which includes contractual protection against physical damage with no deductible. And you you can get reimbursed for car repairs up to your car's actual cash value. There's also around the clock roadside assistance. And aside from insurance, there's many thoughts that may cross your mind, such as not knowing anything about the person that you're renting your car to. Well, Turo also takes care of that by screening all of the guests before allowing them to book. There's also two-way reviews, so both the guest and host can view ratings before deciding to accept a booking or rent a car from a certain host. Now this isn't a completely passive way to earn income, as you do need to complete a cleaning checklist and clean the car, and take images of your car before and after every single trip. And personally, I take as many pictures as possible so that every angle of the car is captured so there's no surprises for myself or the guests. So how much have I made so far? Well, the average host in the United States earns up to $10,000 per year per car, and you can rent a car for a low amount of $25 per day. Since starting to host my car on August 16th of this year, I've rented out the car for around 31 days in total. My car is listed at around $49 USD or $70 Canadian depending on the day. After the cost of the protection plan and Turo's take of any extras that are offered, as a host, I earn 75% of the trip price. The 31 days of rental can be broken down into seven trips in total, five of which have already been completed and two that are upcoming. Here's a list of the trips, 
how long they were, as well as my cut of the rental price. In total, I made $1,292.59 USD or $1,795.26 Canadian. And this was all earned after about eight weeks of joining Turo as a host. Now, my precious cost me about $173 per month and another $173 for insurance every month. This comes up to $345 USD per month in car payments. So for the duration of these rental trips, the car cost me two months of payments, which is about $690. If I subtract this from the total I made, I end up with just over $600 in net profit for the two month period. Now, this is pretty awesome considering the fact that most of the time, I didn't need to deliver the car as the renter came to my location. And luckily for me, there's an airport close by. So I do get requests to drop off the car there at times which is a short drive away. Now to deliver the car, either you need someone else with another car to drive you back, or if that isn't an option, then you can always try to Uber back. And if you are delivering the car, you're able to charge an additional delivery fee, so you can use that for the Uber. Now, living in a high traffic area, especially near an airport or in a major city, will make all the difference. And that's simply because there's a higher chance of someone looking to book your car. I'm also able to control when the car will be booked. So if there are any days where I need to use it, I can block those days off on the calendar. Now my car is paid off for the month and I made extra money. So what are my opinions on Turo so far? Well, I've only recently started my Turo journey. So my goal is to be the best host possible and earn five star reviews. And I'm currently working my way up to become an all-star host. That means I need to have hosted 10 trips within a year. And I'd also need 90% five star ratings, 95% commitment rate, meaning that I can only cancel less than 5% of booked trips. I also need a 90% acceptance rate when it comes to people requesting my car and a 95% response rate when it comes to communication and timely responses. So far, I haven't canceled any of these trips and I've accepted 100% of them. And I do screen the individuals prior to accepting them. I'll check to see if they have any other reviews or if they previously used Turo. But I've also accepted people who don't have any reviews. And oftentimes the person renting will reach out with a message prior to booking. They may even give a reason as to why they're booking and tell you a little bit about themselves and their trip. And thanks to Turo, I've also had the chance to meet some awesome people from around the world and learn all about their travels. So far, managing bookings through the app and communicating with individuals has been a breeze. Now, I didn't have any damages to the car yet, but I did have an occurrence where a renter used our highway with tolls and simply just didn't pay me back. And in this case, I had to open a support ticket with Turo and provide all the transponder details. But I do want to say that Turo support was amazing. They were just quick to reply and helped resolve the issue within just two days and ensured that the full amount was reimbursed Burst. And of course, this gives me confidence moving forward with them. Now, of course, not everyone has the flexibility to just rent their car out on Turo, and it'll depend on your personal situation. And that's all, folks. If you want to learn more about how I've optimized my Turo posting to get more bookings, let me know in the comments below. And if you want to give Turo a try, I'd be happy to share my 10 ultimate tips to becoming a successful Turo host. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. As always, if you have any topics that you'd like me to look into, let me know in the comments below. And remember, none of this is financial advice. I highly recommend and that you do your own research before deciding to host your car on Tarot. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.